Facing my boy, Keith Hackendorf tonight. Elephant. Arkansas's undefeated season is over. Of course, they gotta put the, the yearly smacking we put on Notre Dame. Michigan, I'm making a prediction right now. I think Michigan's going to the national championship game. And it's gonna be Michigan in the national championship game. And then Duke, knocking off his Tech. That's what game day is going to be. Put some respect on South Alabama. Being Oklahoma State. Old Miss. We're going to face in Arizona this week. Top 25 matchup. We face Arizona next week. We'll see what happens. But now it's time for ASU versus USC. Winner gets sole control of the Pac-12 South. Unless Arizona beats Oregon. They're in the end zone. They came to play. <laughs> Gotta go away. Steady Jude Wolf. Always coming in clutch on third down situations. He's got space. All the way to the one. Andrew Walton, big boy Andrew Walton's time. From Tulare, California. Get in there, big man. There we go. Tie it up. Up for Pearsall like that. Look at that. He's the star on the, on the offense. Not even Joe yelling. It's Pearsall. Yo, look at the blocking, man. This is a well coached team. Keith Hackendorf got these guys really playing well. Another one. Look at that. The gap was just open to the end zone. Push in. That almost never works in NCAA, but we got it through. Oh, there we go. Nice. The third. He's gone. There we go. We've been looking for that the whole season. We've been looking for that the whole season. Man.
Probably the best receiver in the country. All right, we're nearing halftime. Ooh, what a move by Kane. Whap! Whap! There we go, there we go. Can reward our running back. Our backup running back. In, in place of Keenan Christian. 14 to 28 at halftime. Audible, I see something. Oh, we had a lot of receivers open on that play. We go Kyle Ford deep, deep in that end zone. You think it's over, 35 to 14. Sun Devils had other plans. Lee Bailey, who was busy the whole game. And then the patented read option around the end zone. Deep. John Jackson the third showing why he is the best rated receiver in the season in the dynasty 99 overall then I audible oh look at Ethan Ray wide open in the slot we have the best tight end group in the country I've been waiting for a game like this but Arizona State would not back off kept pushing they kept pushing but we're entering the fourth quarter we're up by two touchdowns there you go oh yelling the flowers pop, 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 pop. stumbling and bumbling in that end zone 34 and they're only down by a touchdown, only down by seven. With under seven minutes to go, what would USC do? Slovis, scrambling. Slovis, this is vintage Slovis. Gets to the 50. Now pay attention to Kyle Ford. Because he wasn't getting the ball. It was John Jackson the third. And look at that, look at that moss. He just got mossed. Let's run a screen at the goal line. Right there, Kyle Ford's got it. My two best receivers coming in handy. Five touchdown passes for Keita Slovis. But again, Arizona State, that was really their last chance getting picked off. Another Ford makes a big play. They make another audible at the line. This is giving me Charlotte 49ers vibes. Because I'm going to give it to Kyle Ford. He's got it. Quarter bomb. Kyle Quarter bomb Ford. That's his new nickname. What a touchdown. And Arizona beats number two Oregon. And we face Arizona next week. And that's really for the Pac-12 South title. That's really what it is. But that's crazy. Keenan Slovis, seven total touchdowns. We got Arizona next. That's going to be the biggest game of the season for the Pac-12 title. We'll still be heavily favored, but that's going to be a, a very challenging game on the road. But as you can see here, great job for our children. We win it. What is it, 7-1, 8-1? 7-1. Fight on.